Pretty much our job is to advocate for LGBTQ issues here on campus and um, in the state of Georgia, or like, you know, globally. Um, we also work with different departments on campus to bring that awareness to different students who don't really know about LGBTQ issues. Um, and we put on programming events. We have different weeks that we um, commemorate, so like Trans Awareness Week. Um, we also have, um, like we work with AIDS Athens to do AIDS um, testing and stuff like that. So. Um, can you maybe tell me of any experiences that you've had or that your friends have had with mm -hmm. discrimination downtown? Basically, me and my friends, uh, whenever we like get ready to go downtown, we usually kind of dress a certain way just yeah. because we know that if we look too queer, then um, it's possible that we might not be let in. Um, so a lot of times we do try and kind of like tone down, I guess, mm -hmm. um, our queerness. But um, And I know people have been turned away mm -hmm. um, just because of the way they looked. I think not UGA and, well, UGA and like the entire place, like the entire U.S. Is, has mm -hmm. this place of like homophobia mm -hmm. and about like it's this psychological disease of some sort. Um, and it's not that way. Mm -hmm. um, like we're human too, like it's just we like different things compared to different people. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's just one thing that people have to understand and um, live with, like mm -hmm. being, going to school here and living with different people. Our student body here, I feel like they should go through some anti-discrimination harassment policy. Mm -hmm. So as we do the alcohol awareness program, we need to have like some diversity training within our student body, um, not just related to LGBT issues, but like racial issues, religion issues, and different things like that. Essentially, they're saying that you can practice like your own religion no matter what your religion is. And so it's kind of hard for me personally to be like, you know, well, if you practice the religion and this is your view mm -hmm. and you are privately owned that you can't do what you want with your own um, company. Um, I just think that there's just a larger like problem with ignorance, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, just people not understanding like those kind of views fully because I mean, personally, I believe that any religion should be accepting of all people. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, at least, it's more of a like religious battle and like kind of opening the eyes, um, opening people's eyes to that as opposed to like enforcing one religion or the other or allowing you know religions to like you practice how you know they want to be practiced. Or like you know globally.